Welcome back to SB Nation here with Jake Fisher, linebacker, Arizona Wildcats, of course. First of all, how's the day going for you so far? The day's going good. I'm having a good time. I'm You're really blessed to be out here. You're speaking a lot. Yes, sir. You're working those vocal cords. Yes, sir. How has the transition so far been? New defensive coaching staff, new routine. Well, I mean, it's a new routine. Um, the coaching staff is awesome. Um, you know, I was blessed to have, you know, an offer from the last coaching staff and how all that turned out was just, you know, no one wanted it to happen that way. But right. I mean, it's great to start off new, start off fresh with a new group and they're all hungry to win. I mean, the BCS wins they've had as a group, right. um, you know, some people will get complacent and they haven't at all. They want to be part of the first team at Arizona to win the Rose Bowl. So uh, we're all on board with the schemes and everything. And uh, I think we're going to be all right. What are the big differences you've seen, not just football wise, but day to day within the program, whether it be academics, meetings, things like that? Well, I mean, it's it's different just because these guys coming in, you realize how hard you have to work to be in a winning situation just because they've gone through it so many times. So, I mean, they just kind of brought a new culture. Um, you know, Rich Rod, Coach Rich Rod, sorry. Coach he, uh, <laughs> he's the future of Arizona football. And I mean, just knowing how to work like a champion, um, I mean, it's going to turn out positive on the field as well. You mentioned scheme differences, of course. Coach Castillo yes, brings in the 3-3-5. Yes, sir. Do you have experience with that? What, what has been your adjustment process like so far? Well, I have not had experience with the 3-3-5, but uh, every defense is, you know, similar. It's just uh, some, you know, you have different people in different spots. Right. But, you know, it's not like there's any new coverages, any new, you know, whatever. But Any new checks or anything within that? Well, yeah, there's new checks and everything, but it's just, you know, every defense is kind of the same. But the thing about this defense that I really like is you can dis you can disguise things a lot easier mm -hmm. um, you can cause a lot more chaos just because you have so many other people in the backfield and a lot of the times watching old West Virginia tape um, <clears throat> when they first came in we obviously hadn't gone through a spring or anything right. like that so basically we were able to watch <clears throat> West Virginia which was a top 10 defense overall the last five or six years under coach Castile right. and we were able to see how the defense is supposed to be played and now that we've gone through a spring and we know what we're doing, um, we'll be able to put in a lot more checks. We'll be able, we'll be a lot more comfortable with it. We'll be able to go 100 miles an hour. And I believe that we're going to be able to disguise it a lot better so that teams don't know what we're doing. How do you think it matches up with the Pac-12 offenses that you've both played against and will play against? Well, I mean, you know, like I said, it might, it's probably going to help us a little more just with the spread of offenses and everything. But <clears throat> more speed on the field. Yeah, yeah. But, but like I said, I mean, you can't really stop any of the offenses in the Pac-12 anymore. I mean, there, a lot of them are uh, running gun offenses. And uh, but what we got to do is we got to really try to contain them as best as possible. And everybody's going to run the ball every play. His name is Jake Fisher, of course, University of Arizona linebacker. Hair has equal parts bounce and shine. Thank you very much for your time. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs>